saw you guys had to stay so long. A little delay. I mean, how long was that delay? Hour. Uh, hour. Um, but uh, you know, uh, this football team and that, those uh, throwback jerseys in there—they got character. Um, you know, they had their backs against the wall. Um, you know, everybody talking about who they are. Uh, we talked about who we are. We know who we are. Okay. Um, you know, we know what the schedule looks like. We know who we played. We know who we lost to. We know what we did or didn't do to win or lose a football game. And, and I couldn't be prouder of that locker room in there. Those guys, they fought and fought and fought. We're down 14 points, okay? We're going you know, to start off, and I'm sure everybody's going, oh, here we go again. But our guys continue to believe, okay? And that talks about character right there. That's character. Uh, and then we're up, and then we're down, and we're back and forth. But there were some big plays in there. You're talking about, you know, those two tailbacks, Claudio Olson and Darren Hall. I mean, we got two-headed monster back there. Those guys were unbelievable. You know, Dane Jackson, quick Virginia strip. Dane Jackson scoops and scores. You know, um, uh, Amir Watts with an interception, dropping off as a deep tackle, execution. Uh, you know, Kessman was lights out, kicked every, every uh, you know, uh, kickoff into the end zone, okay? And I know that sounds like, oh, you know, how about his field goal? His 55, his 53, his tire at the end there to, uh, to put it in overtime. Um, you know, incredible. Um, you know, 82 on that big bubble, tiptoeing down the sideline. Um, I could go on and on. And, you know, the way the offensive line blocked for those two tailbacks and those tailbacks ran hard. Um, and, uh, and then, of course, Theron Coleman uh, to, to end it on a sprint out pass that they don't do very often. But, uh, you know, a guy maybe played 15, 20 snaps today ends up being the game winner. Um, but uh, just an incredible game. I'm happy for those guys in there. They needed that one, and, uh, and they deserve that one. So, with that, I'll, if you guys have any other questions, I told you the whole game happened. Right <laughs> Beth, what about uh, your play calling in the fourth quarter? You didn't get real conservative there. Were you, you just wanted the, the, your running backs to win it for you? I wanted our winning, running backs to win it for us. I wanted our offensive line to win it for us. Um, uh, you know, the, if you look at the stats, of that defensive line can sack the quarterback. Um, so I wasn't going to put it in, in, you know, in our hands of just letting those guys scream up the field and just smack us in the mouth and get, you know, I don't know how many sacks they had before. <coughs> I'm guessing, I don't even know, sacks. Sorry, three, sorry. Three, three, three. That was three too many. But, the, you know, let me tell you, that's a good football team. I give you know, Dino Babers, that is a good football team. They just went down to, I mean, they gave the game away. I don't want to say that. They gave the game away a week ago. Um, they should have won that game and should be undefeated. That is a good football team with a, an experienced quarterback that's been there, I don't know, since since uh, shoot, I got here. Um, that, that's a good football team that's going to win a lot of football games. And, uh, and I feel bad for Dino Babers. He's a heck of a guy. I, I, I really like him. He's a class act. And, uh, that, you know, that, those guys played their tails off in that locker room as well. So my hat is off to uh, how hard they fought. Um, but you know what? Our kids, you know, our kids needed that one, and they worked for it, and they were disciplined when we had three penalties. And, you know, that's something, you know, that's pit football. That's how we should be all the time. And hopefully they learn a lesson like, oh, wow, we only have three, maybe we got a chance to win football game. What did you see in Terry Coleman to give him such a responsibility today? He hasn't played much before. You know what? He's he's played sparingly, but you know we, we you know we uh, kind of been playing with all the tempo and all the four and five wideouts we've had out there. We've been playing, um, you know, more nickel the last two weeks, which is because of the thing. And we'll see, you know, where we go moving forward, depending on you know, what the game plan looks like this week. So I don't know what we'll do, but you know, we had Theron, we had uh, Demari Mathis, who was cramping up a little bit. He started off at the nickel spot, and uh, and then Marquez Williams was also. So we really rotated three guys to keep fresh out there with the tempo and and the, the amount of running they're doing, but. Uh, I looked right there at that man, you know, at the beginning of that series and said, you know, let's go. Fundamentals, you know, eye control, lock your guy down. And by God, there you go. So, got to thank that guy upstairs. Uh, he was with us the, the whole time. And, and uh, you know, uh, those kids deserve it. You held Dungy to under 50% completion, more interceptions and touchdowns. Can't consider that a win to go up against a guy that experience? I mean, those guys, it's a good football team, as I said. Yeah, that's a win. I, mean, I thought our defense played lights out. I mean, they put, you know, we were put in some bad situations at times. I don't know how many shots, I mean, at least three short fields. Um, and then even you think about the turnover, I mean, Kenny gets, you know, smacked in the head, gets his head torn off pretty much. Um, and it's a turnover uh, on a pass play. And it's, it was a sack, Jerry. Uh, it's a sack turnover. Um, and our kids held them to a field goal. I mean, there were some major wins out there as far as, I mean, our defense played, you know, lights out. I thought it gets a good football team. Uh, what, what about Darren Hall? Quadra was running the ball well all game. At what point did you start feeling like Darren Hall could have that type of game? And was there a play you saw? Last or August, I felt like he could. You know, just getting the opportunities and getting enough touches. Um, you know, Darren Hall's a great tailback too. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, you, you, you were riding Quadra the whole way. At what point did you start wanting to get Darren involved and think that they could have two 100 yard games between them? You know, just you know, that's Coach Powell, you know, rotating those guys through and getting a feel for what they feel like, what they look like, how they're running it, and just keeping them fresh. I mean, when you got two great tailbacks, 
that can run the ball. And those guys ran hard now, guys. I mean, there were some tough yards in there. It wasn't just, you know, big old holes that they were plowing through. I mean, some of those three and four yard gains that we were grinding it out, you know, to get 10 yards. I mean, those were some hard runs where you go, God, they did it all by themselves at times. Uh, I know we were blocking, but man, it looked like there was five guys on the back running for some of those runs. So I can't wait to watch the tape. Were you trying to get a timeout there after their 44 yard catch or whatever they had? What do you think? I didn't see it. I was looking down. <laughs> I was trying. Yeah. You were going to challenge it. Leave it at that. You were going to challenge it, right? It wasn't just a timeout, right? Yeah, it was a timeout to challenge it. Yeah. Did, did the official say anything to you? Next question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pat, I know you said you, you wanted the running back for the O line to win it for you in the end there. On that last drive in the fourth quarter, were, were you guys kind of playing for overtime, knowing the way Alex had kicked today? I wasn't going to drop back and throw the ball against that front four. Uh, fierce and force him over there. Um, you know, one of my, my old, old linebackers at North Illinois, their D line coach. I think he's doing a heck of a job with those guys. I mean, they were, I mean, just look at the sack numbers. I mean, they were all, you know, they're in everybody's backfield when you watch the tape. Um, but, you know, we're playing for a field goal, playing for a touchdown. I was playing to win. And I knew our best way of winning is, is to put the ball on the ground and, and, and do what we do best. Um, you know, you're hoping to pop one of those for a touchdown. I mean, we'd rather not go overtime if we didn't have to, but uh, we were just going to grind it out and run it down. You know, we, we had three timeouts, and we were just going to grind it out and go. Yeah, what's it feeling like? I mean, especially left side of your offensive line, you guys were really controlling the play. What's it, when they know what's coming and you can still run it, I mean, what does that say sort of about your team? Uh, you know, Dave Borbley, you know, our offensive line coach, starts with that guy and, 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 you know, the game plan part of it, you know, just doing what we do. And they did a great job of, of scheming them up a little bit and, and just, you know, playing with great technique. I mean, uh, that, 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 you know, you got a guy rushing for, what, 194 and 108 and 107. I mean, um, you know, your offensive line did some work today and, and they willed it themselves. I mean, those guys were like, Coach, just keep running. We got you. It's like, okay, that's easy. But your was defense the, had to win, right? Your defense had to come up with a big play. They didn't score a touchdown after the fourth quarter. Yeah, I didn't know that. But no, our defense played, you know, like I said, defense played good, Jerry. Um, you know, they, they, uh, they played well and then you know, finished it off on, you know, P and 10. Um, you know, the 25 yard line, road time and get a pick. I mean, come on. It's unbelievable. Was the Wildcat something that you saw on film that you thought you could use against them, or did you just kind of try it once and then it worked and went back to it? Uh, a little bit of both. I mean, we thought we, you know, we, we have it in every week. Depends on you know what they're doing, how they're doing it, and they're loading the box up. And it's you know it's like you know they're out there. They, you know Kenny's out wide, so they can cover him man to man. Okay, congratulations. And then you know you got a running quarterback, so it's just that extra man, which a lot of people have. You know, with a, you know quarterback that can run like that. Um, and you know Darren Hall and Claudio are our quarterbacks. You know. It all comes down to just numbers in the box. Talk about Kenny's performance today, the quarterback. You know, what did you like about? You yeah. know, um, you know, I thought Kenny played solid. I mean, he got to the right. You know, there's a lot of. You know, it's not just like turn to the right and hand it off, or turn to the left and hand it off. There's a lot of checks that go on based on the safeties that are rolling and what they're doing. You know, coverage wise, um, there's a, there's a ton of <laughs> ton of work. And you know, Kenny had a great game, and, and uh, you know, it's a good football team. Any final was, for coach before we get to our player reps? That was the biggest challenge, uh, keeping the guys focused during the lightning delay. What was the biggest challenge? You know, we, we, you know, really wasn't, you know, we talked a lot of football, you know, it wasn't like they had to lay down and, and uh, take a nap. Um, but our guys were locked in and then we were, you know, they didn't want to take their pads off. They're like, coach, I'm good, my pads are good. We're like, take those pads off and get a dry shirt on. That was the biggest challenge was to get them to take their pads off because those jerseys are so tight. Uh, that was the biggest challenge, was getting the jerseys back on. It was a team effort. We had everybody pulling jerseys down. <laughs> Craig, you got the last one. Yeah, Pat, uh, you know, when you see Darren and Quadri ha uh, have the kind of days they did uh, today, how much does that potentially change your all's offensive philosophy moving toward you? Do you foresee yourselves, like, focusing and relying like George on George Tech or something like that? <laughs> Maybe not quite that extreme, yards, but, No. I mean, we're going to do what they're giving us. And, you know, I don't know if they even gave us the run today, but we will the run. Um, but we, you know, that was a tough football team to throw. You know, it all depends on who we're playing and what we think up front. And, you know, what, what, we, uh, what we can do. Okay. Coach, thank you very much. Thanks.